What's up everyone? I'm back with a new Tori uh, video today. Today I'm going to be uh, doing the Batman Arkham City Solomon Grundy wave. Um, so I'm going to just get right into it. I'm going to do some comparisons though. I'm going to do a comparison for Penguin, Batman, Catwoman, and Solomon Grundy. Don't have a Ra's al Ghul I can compare it to unfortunately. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go and kick it off with those. Batman here, he's pretty much a exact uh figure uh from the batman arkham asylum version but there is minor differences um the upper chest is changed the cape's different the eyes are painted completely white so you don't see the terrible eye sculpture that uh mcfarland uh, had and the gauntlets on his arms are different and then the rest is just kind of more so just paint differences and then he uh kept the same exact thing with the arkham asylum but this figure does uh, look cool for the most part. It's just un unfortunate with that piece. Uh, the gauntlets kind of seem a little bit all right. You know, like I like the sculpt, but then when you have the blades, it just kind of seems kind of bland there. I believe the other one was more uh, sharper looking. Um, I like the cape. I love the flow of it. I liked how... Um, th this kind of gives you a good, uh, flight pose. He should have really came with a flight stand. You know, he came with the regular stand and I think this figure just works much more on a flight stand, but I don't know. I think mean, that's just me. Here's Batman next to the Arkham Asylum on the right and his Arkham City version from Mattel. The Arkham Asylum one, you could definitely see the resemblance with some of them. There's just some differences here and there. The, uh, Arkham, uh, City Mattel version, you could see the boots are kind of uh different here you know you, you can see that there's kind of more so latches so i think that's more accurate um i i have to look at the still image to really remember but um i i think that's where uh mcfarlane was working on it with the arms but then he just gave up on the the legs completely and just said forget about it we'll just use the same one no one notices <laughs> hopefully no one notices but 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 we did we did here is Catwoman, and I already posed her out in this flight stand. Uh, I think it's definitely a very well-articulated figure. Um, I like the uh, whip that she comes with. It's very nicely designed. So that's, you know, it's pretty set uh, from where it's at, you know, and it has a nice grip here. So not too much detail in that that they really needed it. Um, but, you know, overall, like this figure, I think the uh, the articulation is great. Uh, as far as paint applications, now you definitely see she's, uh, you know, got some uh, silver painting here and there. And for her uh, head sculpt, yeah, just very beautifully head sculpt. Um, you know, and this is like a goggles up version. Uh, but there's some things that uh, aren't painted. I think there's like some buckles here and there. And uh, I might compare actually to the metal one, which that one was showing that they even painted those. So that, I think that was kind of interesting. But, uh, yeah, there's just some stuff that isn't painted. Doesn't necessarily need it, but, you know, hey, lack of detail, right? Um, but definitely I love this figure. I was actually kind of more surprised. I thought I was going to hate her more. The diaper, um, <laughs> you know, we all know what I'm talking about. The diaper isn't horrible on this one, and parts of it, it looks good. But some parts it does look bad. Uh, it's definitely not as black as the uh, the legs or the stomach area. You could definitely see it becomes more of a matte black compared to it, while everything else looks a little bit more glossy. Um, so that's definitely noticeable ju just from uh, looking at it. But definitely some uh, nice sculpting. Um, but, you know, I just think the diaper thing isn't going to be working out too well uh, for the future. Okay, here is Catwoman now next to the Mattel version. That one had goggles down. And, you know, there was just some things that they painted. Like, they painted this silver thing on her arm. Uh, you know, and then there's the buckles that they made sure to paint all those. So, it's just kind of weird that they both kind of uh, have different detailing and certain other things. Oh my god, this figure's going to take three hours to stand. <laughs> oh boy. The that's my favorite thing about female uh, figures with high heels. They are the perfect ones to stand. Um, so anyways, uh, definitely like the Arkham City one. I think it's an upgrade overall because, I mean, it's either deal, deal with the diaper or deal with the box. Uh, you know, that like that's just pretty much what that always looks like. 
Um, so the, the McFarlane one is definitely more of a cleaner cut. Uh, definitely both figures have, you know, favorable things though. But obviously, uh, Catwoman has the double jointed, uh, elbows. I did wish McFarlane did release a alternate hand for Catwoman so she can have both claw hands out. I think that would have been a cool and thing to have, not just one gripping and one claw, but eh, whatever. They both seem to have done the same exact thing. So no difference there. All right, up next here is the Penguin. And I think this one is probably my most favorite uh, because I just love this whole sculpt around this figure. He's got, you know, just all this different type of uh, texture from his uh, coats. You know, I, th I think that just looks crazy good. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. And I love it that McFarlane decided to release it, a penguin figure with the umbrella. You know, couldn't do that with the other penguin figure, huh? Um, but yeah, uh, this figure though, I think is really cool. I, I love the head sculpt. Uh, I, I think it's uh, very well done. Uh, unfortunately, you can't remove the hat that's glued on. Um, I think that was kind of surprising. I think that should have you know i think it could have been done easily to just have it removed since he's like a bald dude and the hat just has to sit on him but you know what's also awesome is this f figure has uh leg articulation well here are the penguins next to each other and man there is just so much of a difference between these two uh there you know the the og penguin here he doesn't have remotely any leg articulation nothing moves you know, he does have the hat that can be removed. So there is some bonuses there. And of course, he also comes with a cigar. So that's awesome. But, you know, he uh, rotates just at the waist and has uh, some arm articulation. Um, and it's not even a articulation at the elbows. That's literally just one part that can articulate. You know, obviously with Penguin, you get three jointed elbows. Um, obviously feet articulate, you have toe articulation, which I'm not too much of a fan of regardless, but, um, you know, and then it also twists at the waist, not much, uh, to move around the abbed area. But yeah, I think McFarlane just completely blew it out of the water with, uh, this one, like, like I, far more superior than, uh, what they originally had. Now, of course it sucks. He doesn't come with a cigar, it sucks his cat hat can't get removed. Yeah, so I managed to get the cigar in uh, the penguin's hand, so that's pretty cool, you know. Uh, so I'm probably just going to keep that with this one now because I just, now he's pissed off and smoking a cigar and holding an umbrella. He is not having a good day in Gotham. So uh, I think that's pretty dope. The umbrellas, they have quite a difference as well. Uh, McFarlane's is the one on the left. It's much bigger. Uh, seems like they both went for the same sculpt somewhat, but... It looks like DC Collectibles just decided to finish painting it because I do believe it is supposed to have silver on it. All right, so up next we got Ra's al Ghul. Uh, I don't have any comparisons for this guy. I've, this is actually the first time I was able to get a Ra's al Ghul for uh, the Arkham City, uh, you know, series. So uh, this figure looks pretty cool. I love that it has like uh, baggy legs. You know, it, it's pretty much a, a nice baggy design. And he's got some nice armor sculpting here. You can kind of see that... Uh, uh emblem in the middle you know it looks really cool what i also love is that for his tattoos they paint over the pin so the pin isn't being like obnoxiously out there past the tattoo so that actually looks pretty cool that they uh managed to get that over it um sword has like a s some sculpting in there and a pretty basic but you know uh head sculpt now the head sculpt he looks like a nice dude and all and, and yeah, I see I see Ra's al Ghul. But, you know, I just don't really remember him looking that kind of calm in Arkham City. I just thought he looked more like a dude who just completely lost his mind and looked just like evil. Uh, so, I, I don't know. With this Ra's al Ghul, I feel like he's just not there yet. I feel like he's still kind of calm and collective. I want to see the Ra's al Ghul head sculpt where he just looks like, you know, like, like, he, like, I shouldn't say this on YouTube, right? Uh, but it looks messed up in the head. Uh, so, um, you know, pretty decent figure. Definitely uh, great articulation. Um, that kind of goes for all McFarlane figures typically. Um, so I'm not going to really go crazy over it, but definitely a nice, cool figure. 
Here is Ra's al Ghul actually next to his comic version and his movie version. Uh, so you got the comic, video game, and movie all together at once. So um, I definitely like uh, McFarlane's though. I think it's it's definitely a nicer sculpt. Maybe it's the scale, but you know, uh, definitely a, a cool uh, figure to have with your Ra's al Ghul collection. Okay, I saved the worst figure for last. No, you didn't mishear me. I definitely said worst figure for last. Um, this guy, this Solomon Grundy figure, you know, I was so excited to hear McFarlane do it because I so far was impressed with Killer Croc um, and, and the Titan Joker. Even though it was like a little bit more on the silly side, it was still a gigantic figure. This Solomon Grundy figure is so 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 small i don't know what happened here this is like the worst thing um you know that mcfarland has done i, I think by far and, and i haven't even jumped into the figure yet so i apologize um maybe i should go and do that first so this figure does have a nice sculpt it is well sculpted all around it like for sure no doubt about it paint applications like on his chain in the rope uh are looking a little, little bland to me i i think it's just kind of like uh it just looks a little cartoony but i don't know it, it's it's just not feel it doesn't feel like it's in the right color tone for this figure uh now up close definitely some nice design i love the head sculpt the head sculpt is definitely awesome like it is great detailing uh you know and as far as I'm concerned, I think the figure is trying to be accurate as much as possible as far as uh, sculpt is concerned. You can see uh, there's parts where he has it stitched up and there's just green coming out from that side. He is only single jointed on the elbows. So and then obviously you can move this up. The arm popped off. Uh, the belt of figure is easy to put together. So that's good news. Um, so that that's at least one pro about it and, and you know you might want to play with this figure a little bit more but let's go and do a comparison with the original solomon grundy okay here is mcfarland solomon grundy next to the dc collectibles version of solomon grundy like you you really can't you can't compare this isn't even close this isn't even remotely close look at this are you, I, <laughs> I don't know if McFarlane ever played Arkham uh, City. I really don't. And I don't even know if he's aware that this figure does exist. Uh, because if you see this comparison here, it's just, you know, what were you thinking? <laughs> um, I, I did make a little extra segment early on in this video when I didn't even open up the figures yet. So I'm going to put that at the very end. So if you're still watching... Uh, you know, hopefully watch that part too, because I just got some things to say to McFarlane. But this is just, um, like, so much missed opportunity here uh, with this wave. Um, so, but I will include that in another part of the video. Um, but this figure is just, you see the difference. There's just so much uh, lack of doing some, some stuff here. I mean, you know... He's not even remotely close to getting to, to his height. Uh, not even with the width. Uh, you know, with this figure, I don't know if I can move him closer for uh, better detail. But he's, you know, one that, you know, you could also remove the chest piece and you would be able to see the heart, the rib cage. You can't do that with McFarlane's. And it's also bloody it's it's you know it's using blood the the solomon grundy one is is green there's green coming out it's it's far from accurate uh you know may, maybe the, the this version is too scary for kids but it's certainly one that you can't replace uh, at least as far as right now with mcfarlane you just you just can't right now this figure is just too too damn accurate uh, compared to what McFarlane just tried to release. Now, McFarlane's is more playable. You can definitely enjoy it more. And this dude, he's definitely got some weight on him. But uh, certainly um, not one to uh, miss out on. This extra little segment here because I'm just really uh, disappointed with how this wave has kind of uh, come out. 
and I think I think it's a good wave, but I think it's like failing at where it can succeed. Uh, and honestly, like if this wave had eight figures instead of four, I think this would have been a tremendous, uh, tremendous wave. I think it would have become a much uh, bigger uh, Solomon Grundy. You, you know, arms and legs don't have to share the pieces together. You can have each one just have there. And there's just so many characters for the Arkham City uh, figures to actually get. So here's just a few selections. You know, I, I think this way really could have done well. Um, you know, just including four more characters. Mad Hatter would have been perfect. Uh, you know, for, you know, the chest piece of Solomon Grundy. Or if they had to require another part to put in packaging. I don't know. But, you know, there could have been a, a great place for Two-Face here, Hugo Strange, uh, Deadshot, Nightwing, Mr. Freeze, probably not. I think that one would probably be something that'd be like, a, you know, like a, not a deluxe or, or a, what would he call it, a mega figure. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it would have been anything like that, but it definitely would have probably sold on its own. Uh, but, you know, those are just a few selections that if he just threw in four more characters for this wave made Solomon Grundy bigger, spread it out a bit, you know, save money where the Penguin and Mad Hatter are, you know, and then, you know, he, he could have done this uh, wave, you know, much better. Let me know what you guys think. Like, who do you think could have uh, fit well in a much bigger wave for Solomon Grundy? You know, it's too late now for Solomon Grundy. Uh, you know, probably won't happen again with another, you know, upscaled version or more accurate version, in my opinion. Um, you know, but, you know, maybe for a future character like Clayface, I think. But tell me what you guys think. Who would you like to see? And maybe should McFarlane go from four figures to eight to make a bigger Build-A-Figure? With that being said, I'm going to go and give these figures my rating. Uh, Catwoman, I would give her a 7 out of 10. Penguin, I would give him a 9 out of 10. Just a fantastic figure. The best one in this set, I think. Solomon Grundy. If it wasn't for the head sculpt, uh, he would have been a 1 out of 10, but I'll give him a 2 out of 10. But but really, definitely one of the worst. Um, Batman here, 5 out of 10. I, I, I think it could have definitely improved in some pieces. And Ra's al Ghul, I'm going to give him a 8 out of 10. I, I, I think just a head sculpt uh, alteration, I think with that one, it would have been a, a great figure. But um, overall, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that little tidbit I added in there. Again, put in this comment section, what do you guys think uh, McFarlane could have threw in this uh, set? Um, so, hope you guys did enjoy. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all next time.